Hello, I'm Julia Song, and I'm an independent animator interested in challenging the flexibility of animation. Most of my works are focused on strong color, gesture, and really just having fun with animating, so in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a short, fun thunder effect. For today's tutorial, you'll need your laptop or computer and your mouse. Okay, so today I'll be using OpenTunes, which is a free 2D animating program, but I am not saying that everyone should use this program. Anyone can use any devices to follow the method of this animating. If you are thinking of starting 2D digital animation, I also recommend Blender, Clip Studio Paint, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Animate, which are cheap and affordable programs. Before we get into animating, we need to go through how to use this program. You can skip this part if you want to get right into animating. In the middle, you'll see your scene, which is where you will draw. On your left, you can see the toolbar. Today, we will use brush, paint bucket, and eraser. The shortcuts for each of them are B, F, and E. You can also change the size of the brush with the bar that is on your upper left corner. So, how do we use all these tools? For the brush tool, just think about how you use your pen on an empty paper. As you would put the tip of your pen on the paper, click anywhere on the canvas where you want to start your drawing and drag it wherever you want. When you want to stop, just simply put your finger off from the mouse. For the eraser tool, it is the same method as the brush tool. Just click and drag. You can see that we are using black for the color of the line. Below the canvas, you can see that there is a black box that says color 1. That represents the color of your line. You can change the color of the line with this box by simply clicking on this box and picking the color with the palette on your right. Now you can change the color of the line. But well, you only have one color in your canvas. If you want to have another color for your drawing, Make sure to put your cursor below your canvas and click on the right button of your mouse. Then click on New Style. Another box will pop up that says Color 2. Right now it is red, but you can change the color however you want with the palette on your right. For the Paint Bucket tool, it is way easier. You can just click on the empty spaces wherever you want it to be colored. Remember that your lines need to be closed in order to use the paint bucket tool, or else you're going to spill your paint everywhere unless that's what you want. On your right, you'll find something that looks like an Excel sheet. This is where you will keep on track of your drawings, which is called frames in animation. On the left of the Excel sheet, this is another place where you will see your frames. In this Excel sheet, there are many small boxes, each box is a frame of your animation. Your animation starts from the very top and ends at the bottom. When you click on any box where you want to start your animation, you can start drawing. That will be the first frame of your animation. Each column represents a layer. A layer is like paper, but it's transparent. If you drew something on your first column, but when you want to draw something on top of it, you can draw it in the second column. As you can see, even if I erase the drawing, which is drawn on the second column, it does not interfere with the first column. You can also move your layers. If you click on the layer and drag and drop where you want it to be, you can change the position of the layer to be on the top or the bottom of the other layer. Okay, now you know where to draw. But with animation, you need to see what you've drawn before. How do we see that? We call this process onion skinning because we can see through our drawings like the skin of the onion. It helps you to see what you drew on the previous frame and on the next frame, so you can keep the consistency. The red and green button is the button for onion skinning. If you double click on the frame that you want to see through, you will be able to see them in different colors. The previous frame is the red one and the next frame is the green one. When you open Open Tunes, this box appears automatically. We gotta set up our scene first. Let's name our scene Thunder. It's gonna be 1920 by 1080, which is standard, but you can have whatever size you want. 
And here you can also set where to save your scene and your computer. And then when everything is done, just hit create scene. To begin with, I will make my thunder to enter the scene. It's gonna enter from the bottom of the thunder. Remember that I'm doing this with my mouse. The line does not need to be perfect at all. Just go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh with your mouse. I wanted my thunder to enter a bit slower. In order to do this, I want to hold each of my drawing on the screen for more than a second. Just go and click the frame that you want, then grab the gray button, which appears on the edge, and drag it as much as you want. Depending on how much you drag each frame, it will change how long it will hold the drawing on the screen. For example, look at how long each of the numbers are visible on the screen. Here, since I dragged down frame number one further than the other frames, number one seems to be staying longer compared to two or three. When the thunder lands on Earth, it's gonna flash. To create this, we are just gonna draw big thunders. This does not have to be consistent with the previous drawing, just draw lines everywhere in your scene. Okay, so let's move on to coloring. With your paint bucket, Let's color our thunder into bright yellow. For the background color, we will use a different layer. Here, I am moving the layer to the left so that the black is on the back of my thunder. Right now, I am filling in the background randomly with black and a lighter shade of yellow. This process will help your thunder to look like it is flashing even stronger. For the flash, you can put any color you want. Finally, we will finish our work with rendering. On the very top of the program, go to Render and then Output Settings. Then, to make it into a video, set your file to be an AVI and hit Render. This is it for my tutorial. Thank you for listening and I hope you had fun with animating.